Hey everyone! Today I and my assistant here are going to explain you how finishing strategy in stone milling is done and how one small trick can change everything. Ok, not everything, but finishing strategy. Now imagine that my assistant is a tapered, ball nose, diamond coated mill. Like this one. Let's assume here is the part we want to machine, view from above. And here are the axis of my CNC. In most cases, during finishing operations, the tool moves along the X axis lengthwise the entire workpiece, back and forth, at the same time moving a short distance along the Y axis. These small steps along the Y axis are called stepover. Now a cross section of the same part. If there is a given value for the Y axis step, then the step size along the Z axis is determined by the depth of the part itself. If there is a hole in the path of the tool, the tool at this point will go as deep as the depth of the hole in one pass, which will lead to immediate destruction of the cutter. Now from problem to solution. Here is the 3D model that I want to carve out of marble. First, I need to switch to manufacture, then create a new setup, nothing fancy here. Select your model, your stock dimensions, click OK. Now let's move directly to finishing. In the 3D tab, select Parallel, choose your tool, also I will change the cutting feed rate. I will leave the rest of the settings as they are by default. Everything that interests us is in the Passes tab. I change tolerance to 0.1 mm, because one hundredth is pointless in my case. Well, here is the checkpoint that I wish I had known before. Machine steep areas. Now I can set the step along the Y axis as well as the minimum and maximum step along the Z axis. The only thing I will add is a checkpoint on smoothing. That's it. Click OK. This way we will save the tool from damage and also get rid of roughing in general until the height of the cutting part of the mill exceeds the height of the part. And now from theory to practice.
the part still needs to be polished. But that's a topic for another video. For now, this is how it should look like. Thank you for watching.